I'm very fortunate today to be with the lovely Sarah Wyndham Lewis, who has very kindly invited me into her fabulous home. Incredibly, they are selling it, and it's on Bermondsey Street, and I'm here to find out all about it. You know, the 30th yeah. property I looked at, yeah. and I was looking for somewhere with commercial space to, yeah. to run uh, my business from, and then um, I wanted a, a lovely, generous family house, yes. you know, with teenage boys, because they have come with a lot of friends, yeah. and they all <laughs> have size 20 feet. Yeah. Yeah. And I've always said it was like putting on your favourite old overcoat, you just know. I haven't even seen the whole building, I just knew. Yeah. Essentially this is a shell, mm -hmm. uh, and they had subdivided it in ways that suited them. Yeah. Uh, so we literally took everything out, yeah. we rewired, we re-plumbed. Mm -hmm. And I was really anxious to acknowledge the age of this building. Yeah. I did not want to sort of like put some sort of crazy luxury sheen on yeah. something that is an industrial building. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the reasons we loved it so much, because it's industrial past is so evident yeah. in it. Uh, and, and that is one of the, for us, the great joys. So we went at it very, very carefully, mm -hmm. with a very sympathetic yes. builder who mm -hmm. totally got what it was mm -hmm. that we were trying to do. Mm -hmm. So we wanted it warm, yeah. comfortable, flexible. Yeah. Uh, you know, as our kids grew up, mm -hmm. they might want different uses. Yeah. Okay. So this was built to serve the, um, the Spice Wharf, don't you know, Buckler's Wharf and oh, all of that really? okay. And it was a sugar warehouse. So as far as I understand it, they would have bought big consignments because there was yeah. an open yard next door, yeah, okay. in um, presumably by horse and yeah. cart, and they then would break those down into yeah. smaller sacks, which would then go out uh, later. So these, it was built to have yeah. huge stacks of sugar in yeah. it. So okay. hence the two fireplaces on each floor. I'm guessing they kept it right. really hot yeah, in here. Uh, and all the wonderful sort of ways, there's an internal way of bringing sacks up, which we Brilliant. use as a wine cellar now. <laughs> and there's all of these external yeah. uh, hoists uh, and these enormous beams everywhere. And the floor is built in this incredible bit of engineering, such that it's, it's cross braced using all ships timbers. It's really um, thick, mm. the floors. And as it was weighted yeah. with sugar, so the walls was, were, were stronger. So when we moved, there was Borough Market, which was yeah. of course a joy. Yeah. But there wasn't really anything else in the so we were sort of yeah. like part of an incredible germination yeah. of now. Mm. Gosh, I mean, look, look. I mean, tell us about Bowman Street. You must have seen some incredible wow. things. Wow. You know, we have these doors that open up all the way on the front of the building. And I, it is so lovely yeah. on, a, on a sunny day yeah. just to open the doors and be part of the sort of street yes. life. But nobody can possibly grasp what happens behind the facade of this yeah. house. Because it's quite narrow, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And the fact that it goes back so far, yeah. and the fact that it's absolutely licked by natural daylight front oh, and back. Yeah. So for me, I mean, that was one of the things when I was saying, you know, how much I loved it when I first came in. It was a wreck, yeah. but that light. And you just think, gosh, where, how can you live sort of bathed yeah. in light yeah. like that? There's not many places you can. Mm. And so that, that for me is one of the most wonderful things. It's slightly like living in a ship, yeah. but you do yeah. see in every angle, unlike a conventional house, mm. you see through from room to room, yeah. you have the light changing mm. constantly. So that's what I mean more about mm. it being slightly like a ship. So everything you ever need to lead to lead a family life yes. is in this house and generously. But it's wow, this is the generosity of it as well. It's so it's so it's fantastic. Yeah. 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 Tell me about the outdoor space as well, because it is fantastic. I mean, well, it, it's so perched, mm. the views are so wonderful yeah. of the other roof terraces of the life. There's a very vivid life at roof level in yeah. the street. Lots of people have got wonderful spaces. Great. There's something slightly sort of magical and mystical about seeing your neighbours. And we have, we're really lucky with lovely neighbours. Yeah. For us, one of the big pools yeah. of this building was that we did have a garden and outside of barbecue oh. space, a lovely place to sit and, and admire the view a day and night. Oh. Even if it's just a, a, a yeah. warm day in winter, yeah. you can have everything open. I that I really love. Oh. You know, and the views of London. The views are astonishing. Yeah, amazing. Amazing. From the top, yeah. yeah, we go all the way around from um, Canary Wharf yeah. to the London Eye and if you walk along mm. on, the, on the, what was the leads but it's now got that mm. walkway uh, you, you see we just straight to Tower Bridge and at night the whole city sparkles yeah. and you just have this absolute panorama yeah. of sparkliness. It's, it is it's oh, heaven. Oh, tell me a bit more about um, Bermondsey Street because you are right in the heart of Bermondsey Street. Mm. It's changed a lot over the years. What is it that you 
love about this area. It's a very democratic place mm. and everybody knows everybody mm. and there's a, there's a lot of, you know, people stop, they talk, there's a big dog community, there's, there's all sorts of, you know, there's a food community, a dog community, they all interact and, and people have time mm. for one another still, even with all the development that's gone on in the street, mm. people are very, very, um, what's the word I've worn? C community minded. Yeah. Yeah. During lockdown there were a lot of people mm. looking after other people in the street. It, it was, was it was really, really quite powerful actually. Yeah. I mean obviously it was nobody's dream time. No. Um, but it was it was interesting to see what happened it's when this, you see the best in it. It's when you see yeah. the best in it. Yeah. Um, so uh, what message would you give to the person so I, I really hope that whoever build, you know, next comes in builds a life that involves just the sheer joy of what you stroll out into every time you, you leave the front door. But also the the, the containedness behind this door. You, mm. you, you know, you, you, as I say, you can knock yourself to the mood. Yeah. You don't have to be on, in the street playing with that yeah. sort of level of, of you know whatever's yeah. going on out there. You can retire into this space, mm. which is private mm. and has got lovely quiet mm. spaces to it. You can sit out on the roof terrace and have that glass of wine on a summer evening, and you could be. I don't know, you could be in so many different places, you could be on holiday, really. You are, we don't need to sell this. <laughs> I mean, you are. <laughs> Please come and work for us. Come and do the viewings first. Give up the pieces. Yeah. 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 You're on. <laughs> um, so I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed talking to you no, this it's afternoon. Been really it's fun. been a real yeah. joy yeah. And, and just fascinating. Yeah. Absolutely fascinating. Thank you. Um, thank you for choosing us. Um, it's, uh, it, it's, been it's, na it's the natural cycle of things. Well, as the that's how you it's, say. It's brilliant. Um, and yeah, a best of luck. Let you. You, let's go for it and yeah. let's see where it takes us. Yeah, and I hope people yeah. will come and see it, yeah. stand in these spaces and, and be as amazed as I was yeah. that first sure. day. Sure. <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks so much. That's great.